Zach, you, you told me to start with a bit, and I have a bone to pick with the letter Y. The letter Y. The letter Y. The English letter Y. All right, you ready for this? Wait, wait hold on. I, Why? Banned. Sorry, that joke, banned. That joke banned. is really fun. Banned. Banned. Unbanned, because I want to finish my the, the discussion. Also, my Discord is going off, and I hope everyone watching just, like, looked down at their... At the, like, I, I hope they all checked for Discord notifications. That's great. <laughs> I, I hope they did. Uh, so the letter Y. Letter Y. Yes. The adage goes... Did I tell you about this? Did I talk to you about this? The le- you did. The letter Y. The adage goes... The vowels in the English language are, 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 hold on, I'm going to get my pen out, are, are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, right? So you think that Y is probably a vowel, you know, betting money's on half the time. It's a vowel half the time, right? Is that, that, that's a reasonable assumption. Yes. Zach, Y is a vowel. 97.5% of the time. 90 I, I know the answer. It's I, ridiculous. I, I know the answer you gave me. Is it, am I allowed to just give the answer? Yes. Oh, it's because of, of adverbs. Yeah, I mean, yes. It's because of the suffix ly, right? Like aptly yes. or, or sulkily, right? That's the reason. But I think that it's unreasonable that we have been misled in such a fashion to be told that Y is a vowel sometimes when, in fact, it is a vowel almost never. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and yeah. we've all been taken in by big vowel. Uh, uh, and, and, like, the consonants already have... Uh, already have... 20 out of 26 letters, they don't need the 21st. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and it's unfair. Fucking kayak. Yeah. Anyway, Zach, I have a theory video for you today. Excellent. I'm, in, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, in the comments below, tell me whether that bit was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really didn't know how to play off of it. I, I feel bad. There wasn't a lot I could do. I, uh, I write a lot of Jeopardy. Uh, uh, I, I run Nerdy Jeopardy for a local con, as you may recall. Uh, uh, and so I, I come, I've been there. <laughs> I come across a lot of like niche nerd information, and that was one that I came across. And I've really been thinking about using it as a final Jeopardy question, but it seemed like too nerdy, you know. Uh, in the comments below, comment on that as well. Zach, I got a theory for you. I am. I'm pumped for this theory. Yeah. Uh, let's let's hear it. Okay. Uh, I have your first. I have your first piece of evidence here. Quote: From this day forward, trial by combat shall be forbidden throughout the Seven Kingdoms. And that is King Tom and Baratheon in the Bad Dragon Show. <laughs> We're gonna have a Bad Dragon Show little tear on this channel. Uh, <laughs> spoilers for things we're also recording today. Uh, oh boy! A bad dragon show tear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope you all, I hope you all have been uh, wistfully remembering uh, the bad seasons of HBO's A Game of Thrones. Uh, uh, oh boy! Oh boy! Hello. 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 Am I still here? Hello. We just had someone pop in and pop out, but I don't know who it was. It could have been my connection. <laughs> no, uh, no, I think it was. I think it was random internet guy. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, it totally was. Uh, there was a very brief guest appearance. You heard breathing. That was a cameo. Uh, Hold on, Zach. Zach, start. Explain the rules to the game, and I'll message random internet guy back. Uh, spoilers to someone who might appear in a more recent video, uh, an upcoming video. Uh, uh, so the rules of the game is that Tom has a theory. He is giving me every piece of evidence he found to support that theory without telling me what the theory is. I'm explaining it in more detail because somebody was angry in the comments about this recently. 
Uh, and if they'd paid attention, they would have understood better. Not going to name names. Uh, but the, you can't even see the comment anymore. We should have deleted it. But, uh, oh, my God. Uh, um, Random internet guy says, sorry for kicking the door in on you. <laughs> it's like the opposite of hold the door. My, uh, <laughs> my God, that was so funny. Oh, uh, it's so funny. Zach, uh, Zach yeah, says uh, it's like the opposite <laughs> of hold, hold the, the door. door. Oh, God, my Google Calendar is going off, too. Oh, uh, what a yeah, disaster. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Reporting on a work day. What a mistake. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, yeah. The, uh, I... I I will guess, based off the evidence, if I ever get close to a piece of evidence Tom has, if I ever say something that is in line with a piece that supports his theory, he will say ding, and he will write it on the uh, chalkboard here so that I can start to piece things together. If I am truly lost, I can ask Tom to deal me a card, and he will give me a piece of evidence from the theory to uh, start pushing me in the right direction. Until I successfully guess the theory or give up. Correct. Uh, I I love this game and I'm really excited to play it. Zach, I have I have 17 clues, 17 clues for you here on this. Jeez, list. this is supposed to be a quick one to record. Too. It sh- we uh, sh- I think we'll get through it pretty fast. Like once you get on the right track, we'll get through a bunch of them. Okay, I think uh, I think that's fair. And I've I've got some ideas already because this is an interesting. Interesting start, because Tom and I was actually thinking about this the other night. I was catching up on the uh, the Pretty Good Dragon Show, and I was thinking it's hard to rank kings of Westeros because, like, uh, if you if you read Fire and Blood, it makes it seem like King Viserys failed at everything he did all the time. It, it made it seem like he was incompetent and like made a war after his death inevitable this is very correct and 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 i agree with i assume you're about to say that you disagree with that take and i do too uh i not only do i disagree with that take out of all the kings you could have lived under jaharis would have been better probably but like if you like lived the majority of your life under king viserys as just a regular person in Westeros, you probably lived the best life you could have lived. Yeah, your like it, your life was peaceful. Was, yeah, it was probably prosperous. fine. Yeah, like the the kingdom got wealthier. Uh, the kingdom was at peace. Like things probably went like fairly well for you, the average like common person. Yeah, like uh, like the and, the debt the debt didn't increase. Uh, if you were a Valerian sailor, it might have been perilous, but everywhere is perilous right it's perilous yeah. to live on the iron islands basically a hundred percent of the time uh yeah uh uh but viserys but the life of the common person would have gotten much worse if he had gotten embroiled in a war with the triarchy that's for sure yeah he he made the average person's life probably just staunchly better and funnily enough i feel like Tommen, like of all the kings we see in like uh the bad dragon show he's in the upper tier like things were until like cersei's shenanigans cause some extreme meddling and she basically becomes like queen somehow in a way it doesn't make sense uh like (laughs) tommen's like not a horrible king and like he held court together better than joffrey did even though he was like effectively just a like child making immature decisions like the one he made here i don't think he was like with under better circumstances he could have been a good ruler yeah i i think especially in the books um tommen under uh, tommen with kevin's leadership with kevin lannister's leadership is like kind of totally fine actually this really Varys not much wrong with straight it. up says this when he's killing kevin lannister is like yeah. you do a good job i'm Sorry. Yeah, the 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 I, the, need, tr- I, I, need I can't. Who sucks at this. He says I can't have you undo all the good work Cersei has done, which really makes Varys a villain. By the way. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, very, very straight up. Like, yeah, I need there to be a uh, king that the average person won't support for when uh, Aegon comes home. Chaos I need the, the Sansa. I, I need the small folk on my guy's side. And the problem is, you're making Tommen like decently popular. So I'm gonna murder you now. Yeah. The the trouble is, Tommen actually has a chance of healing the realm. Uh, yeah. Tommen and Kevin both seem to be like, they they they're not both grossly incompetent. Uh, and nor nor are they uh, like complete bastards. Like, uh, well, I mean, I guess they're like, uh, Tommen is a bastard. No, they're like, both complete the... bastards, Zach. You know that. It's, it's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, but like, it, it, it's not like Joffrey, who's a, a massive self interested asshole. Tommen's just a kid who wants to be a good king. And has people around him that that could be a solid possibility. You want to do a Kings of Westeros tier list sometime? I do. I do. I very much do, actually. That could be a really fun uh, video. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. Uh, all the Kings of Westeros. And then I think we'll... Uh, uh, we could even throw the Pretenders in there, too. Uh, yeah, we'll th throw in, longer. you know, throw in Stannis, throw in Renly, throw in Balon. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we'll... Throwing, throwing the black fires for sure. The black fires. Everybody who is in contention during the Dance of the Dragons. Uh, Zach, deeply unfortunately, as as interesting as I find basically everything you just said, there was no ding. None anywhere. of it has anything to do with the theory. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking we might get some dings by talking about just Tommen as a ruler generally, but uh, it seems like. This is about trial by combat. I, I yeah, I do. There is a, uh, I do have at one point the thoughts of Kevin Lannister, but I don't think we got close enough for me to give it to you. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, I presume those thoughts of Kevin Lannister might be uh, about Sir Robert Strong, because I have a feeling that this might be. The game bowl adjacent. Oh! <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, we're gonna we we we've really jumped forward. I'm gonna do one of these and one of these. There's two parts to this theory, and we'll we'll Excellent. be we'll be uh, arranging them thusly. Come on, Tom, draw a line. For a dollar, draw a line. That's fine. That's that that's that's fine. Uh, boop, boop. Boop, say something about Robert Strong. Robert Strong is a guy who shows up uh, and they're just like, hey, uh, this guy's on the King's Guard now. Uh, and he comes from, I'm actually forgetting the name of uh, everybody's favorite maester there, because uh, there's more maesters I have to remember due to there being a second dragon show. Uh, 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 Kyburn has. Kyburn, that's right. Kyburn. Uh, who totally does not turn people into horrible Frankenstein-esque monsters, shows up uh, with uh, a guy named Sir Robert Strong, who happens to be the same size and shape as uh, the mountain when Kyburn was last seen taking care of the mountain. Uh, he later says the mountain died. He sent his skull to Dorne. Uh, oh my and God. then, like, you know... <laughs> He's just totally like, gone, guys, don't worry. But then, you know, suspiciously, this other guy shows up. And uh, nobody has ever verifiably seen him eat. Oh, my or God. Or <laughs> sleep. Or drink. Or sneeze. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 Kevin... Lannister remarks that none of the uh uh hold on okay no this is it this is it I'm sorry this isn't the Kevin Lannister this is a different one uh yes yes uh Robert Strong does not appear to need to eat drink or sleep Period. Oxford uh, How dare you? How dare you compare me to Vampire Weekend? You know I have a vendetta against them. Um, uh, 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 I just want to say, like, 
Dora, hold on, Doran Martell is in <laughs> possession of of the skull of Gregor Clegane. Okay, go ahead. So, well, one of the people I work with, uh, I've kept tabs and had you know, like, there's a like lookout. It's uh, now like a meme that the person is aware of that uh, nobody has verifiably seen them eat food. I've been working with this person for <laughs> like since like early April, late March. Uh, nobody has ever seen this person eat food. Still to this day. She did. She did drink water in front of people, uh, and everybody cheered. She made, like, a show of uh, uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. So setting aside your vampire friend, uh, so that was the joke I made too, is that like, is she's a vampire, which uh, she thought was fucking hilarious, but did not, uh, did, she did not deny. I should know. Uh, <laughs> she laughed really hard and then very much did not deny that she could be a vampire. Uh, <laughs> Zach, I'm just reading through some of my clues to see what other, what other dings we might have, we might have passed very close to, uh, and I'm just, I'm just giggling. So, Tom, <laughs> there's a wonderful possibility here, and I've heard some speculation about this from other people. The specu- <laughs> I'm going to speculate that you think somebody else's head is on Robert Strong's body. That's a, that's a dig right there. After the red wedding. Oh no. Grey Wind's head is sewn on Rob Stark's body. So I've 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 actually heard the uh they put Rob Stark's head on the mountain's body to make Rob <laughs> strong too. Oh, then whose head's on Grey Wind's body? Is the theory here that they stitched the mountain's head to Grey Wind's body and brought him back, and he's gonna uh, the other half of the mountain is gonna come out during the game bowl oh. and uh, like oh my god, will charge itself at the hound. Oh my god, just like some, just like this like like true nightmare like like fuzzy dog. With it's just a full ass dog body with just a, a bearded man's head on it. With just like a person's head. <laughs> no, a, actually, like the skull is gone, so it'd be a deflated head. You're right. It would be. It would be it would a basketball. Like it would be the shape of a used condom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um. Okay, I wasn't going to give it to you. art fodder for you. Oh, my God. Okay, yes. Please, please show us the, please show us the swap triangle of Rob Stark, Grey Wind, Gregor Clegane. Well, there's other headless people, too. I'm thinking Ned Stark. I'm thinking Jano Snit. Uh... Hold on. Hold on, hold on. We got to slow down because you got more dings in that whole uh, in that whole thing that I haven't touched on. Hold on. Okay. Oh so we got the oh Ober boy. and Martell one. We got that one. Uh, we got that one. Oh, my God. Okay, I guess Ober and Martell doesn't have a head either. Uh, uh, Kevin Lannister had a strong... Suspicion of who Robert Strong really was. A suspicion that Mace Tyrell and Randall Tarley no doubt shared. I thought I about to making. Tell you, if- if Mace Tyrell susses you out, you've hidden something very poor. <laughs> wait, wait, did you say sus? 
Uh, I thought about making this the the like. Hold on, let me get my let me get my pen here. I thought about making this the anchor and putting this in the middle, uh, but this one doesn't really speak to the other half of the theory, which is all up here. <laughs> A trial by combat aspect. <laughs> okay, so okay. Click aim ball. Um, and then and then and then it goes on. And then it goes on to say, um, uh, "It must. Uh, his face was hidden, and it must remain hidden for now." Uh, so we're gonna. I think this is your last, your last ding here. Uh, Robert Strong hides his face. There we go. Okay. Now, now we're all caught up. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I? Can I? Try and hit the opposite end of the theory. Here. Yeah, please. Uh, if it's play, if it's play game ball adjacent, <laughs> uh, the grave digger might be Sandor Fleger. Many fans believe that the grave digger is Sandor Clegane. <laughs> That's right. Get your hype jackets on. It's a Clegane Bowl theory, everybody. Oh boy! Oh boy! Um, yeah. Oh my God! Well, I have in, I have one external like, clue. Can I? Can I? Can in, I? Can in, I? Le- oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just gonna say they do actually fight in the Bad Dragon show, and I believe the second to last episode. In uh, in the Bad Dragon show. Sandor Clegane fights Gregor Clegane. That's a ding for sure. We're just racking up the yeah. dings here, Zach. This might be a perfect theory. Uh, yeah, this, um, the, and, like, I thought it was a little underwhelming, but it was still the best part of the last season by a lot. Other than the scene where, uh, Jamie Knight's Brian. That's the only actually well-written scene oh, yeah, in the was, last season. It's really good. But uh, the most fun scene is definitely the Clay Campbell. I will give him credit where credit's due. There was a bright spot of like, oh, wow, the show used to have cool things in it uh, during the show's like very public suicide uh, or homicide, I guess. Uh, <laughs> best, <laughs> best suicide. It was actually a murder. Actually a murder. Game, Game of, of Thrones. Of Thrones. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, Zach. We've run through just about half of the pieces of evidence on this theory already. Where are we going so, here? You have one external piece of evidence you just wanted to throw in, you said? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll give you the medium if you would like it. Okay. Uh, sure. it, it's a Futurama. Futurama. <laughs> and it goes down here. <laughs> It's not slurm, I don't think. It's not slurm. Uh, <laughs> take take uh, two more. What's that? Take two more. Well, I, I want to make the slurm uh, one of my favorite jokes from a slurm episode, which oh, is uh, they don't know they don't know the secret ingredient to slurm, and uh, uh, Fry says, "What if it's people?" And then uh, Leela says, "Oh no, there's already uh, a drink like that, Soylent <laughs> Cola." And Fry says, "Oh." <laughs> How does it taste? And Leela says, it varies from person to person. That's, uh, God, that's a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I like is just how matter-of-factly they're like, oh yeah, you already make a soda out of people. It, it, God, it varies from person to person is a good joke. It is. It's it really is. good. Uh, All right, take, an, take another Futurama swing. Okay. It is very relevant to the other stuff that we have gotten down here. How popular is this Futurama episode? Is this one of the like most famous ones? Uh, yeah, this is like, this has got to be top five Futurama episodes. Granted, I'm not super familiar with the community. Uh, you didn't say like the one, so it's not the one about his dog, uh, because that's one everybody remembers. But uh, if it's Maybe it's the uh, devil's hands or idle play things where uh, Fry swaps hands with the devil. Uh, no. Oh my God. Uh, uh, no, though. You know, we could talk about it. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, that's not uh, what I'm looking for. Oh, is it Richard Nixon's severed head? Coming Nixon's down? back! <laughs> Nixon's back! In Futurama. <laughs> Richard Nixon runs for re-election on a giant robot body. The Constitution says no body can run for president more than two times, but I have a shiny new body. Nixon's back. <laughs> This is a fun theory, Zach. I like it. <laughs> this is a very fun theory. Oh, I'm going to take this. Oh. I'm actually going to move it up here because it is exactly as relevant to the theory as Grey Wind. There we go. Um, and then one of these and one of these. Perfect. <laughs> and like, And like something like this, like right here is where we're putting the main thrust to the bottom, and right here is where we're putting the main thrust to the top, right there. Oh, yeah. Um, I, have, okay. I have since established that this one, I did come up with it on my own, but this one down here is not original, but I'm pretty sure that this one is. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the first person to do something associated with what I'm doing down here, although, although the head swap might be original. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the head swap might be original. Yeah, I have, a, I, have a, I have a dumb way I'm gonna try and solve the puzzle right now. Uh, they um they brought down a uh they brought down dead whites uh from the wall. Oh okay. <laughs> what if Kyburn took the head of a white and put it on uh, Robert <laughs> Strong's body? And Sandor Clegane was uh, actually did die, and the uh, Septon is actually just a cleverly disguised uh, priest of Relore. Oh my god! And, <laughs> and uh, theirs is a song of ice and fire. Oh my god! The book. the book is actually all just Clegane Bowl set up. Sandor Clegane suffers near lethal injuries. Many times. <laughs> say more. Say more things about about the religion of Relore, please. Relore uh, is the uh, Lord of Light, uh, who has been involved in the resurrection of many a people. Good old Beric Dondarrion. Uh, who Sandor Clegane notably killed at one time has been brought back multiple times. By Relore, uh, well, by his uh, friend Thoros of Mir, who worships uh, Relore, uh, and Melisandre in the Bad Dragon show brings Jon Snow back from the dead using the magic of Relore. And uh, who can forget that Beric Dondarrion literally gives his life to bring back Catelyn Stark? Oh my god, we're just racking up the ding, man. Zach. Beric Don uh uh wait, how did I phrase this? Um uh Catelyn Stark is resurrected by consuming the life force of Beric Dondarian. And these are up here together. <laughs> all right all is, right is the theory that uh sander clegane is going to eat the life force of lady stoneheart and that also uh rob stark's head is on robert strong's body and <laughs> the game bowl is a battle of rob stark versus rob stark <laughs> Right, right, church, wrong, pew. <laughs> um, I, I don't think 
that Rob Stark's head is on Gregor Clegane's body, and I don't think that Sander Clegane is going to eat Lady Stoneheart. get that future Rob Accord Uh, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, there's like, there's three or four. I could split one and two. <laughs> All right. I, get me, hold on. Bring me down here. Get me this piece. Oh, whoops. Boop, boop. Give me this piece. And then I Do think that, that I, then I think you'll find this piece easier. Or you can have a card. Hold on a second. Uh, get you which piece? Get me this one. Boop. That one down there. Uh, figure figure out whose head is on is on Gregor Clegane's body. Grey Wind's head is on Gregor Clegane. No, this is not. This jo is Joffrey's head is on. Gregor Clegane. N we're a warmer. <laughs> is, it, is, is it Rob Stark's head is on Gregor Clegane? Is just what you're saying here? No, 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 no. This okay. is this is um this is a a thematic parallel, right? This is not thematic parallel. Yes. Okay. The, the, there is precedent in the series for heads being sewn on bodies. Is the point of that? It's not Ned Stark. It's not Janos. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Oh. Tywin. Tywin's around there. Oh. Oh, that's an interesting point. No. <laughs> that, actually, that now that I think on it, that is, that has some interesting theming to it, doesn't it? But we do yeah. see the funeral of Tywin Lannister. That's true. What, like, Tywin could just scoop up the body afterwards. That's true. Uh, is there anyone we don't see a funeral for? We don't see a funeral for Aberyn. Uh, that's, but his head's fucking gone. That's true. He uh, got squished though. Who do we not see a funeral? Yeah, for? take another someone important to Cersei. Uh, who, <laughs> who might be a skilled warrior? Who might, who might be able to, to help, if there are if there are dangers. Uh, coming at the royal family. Remember the king's guy? I mean, they tortured Osney Kettleblack, but I think he lived. That's that. Um, is, that is true. We're not looking for Os We're not looking for the Kettleblacks, though. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Just uh, not doing anything on the screen right now. You don't got to worry about it. Nothing on the screen at all. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody major. Uh, who dies around the same time as the purple wedding? <laughs> die around the same time as the purple wedding before or after before so they might have died in the battle of the blackwater Boop. <laughs> uh let's see battle of the blackwater who died there <laughs> oh uh, my god i'm gonna cry um Zach, I, Moore I didn't died expect, there. I didn't expect what I'm doing on the screen to be a bit. <laughs> it was actually supposed to be a hint. Oh, oh, wait, sorry. I was like, oh, yeah. I guess we never see a funeral for Robert. <laughs> there is 
was no funeral ever depicted for Robert oh, Robert Baratheon. <laughs> Oh my god. So it's Robert Baratheon's head <laughs> on Gregor Clegane's body. Correct! That's it! <laughs> um, okay. Uh, uh, wait a second. Super Bobby B. Wait a second. <laughs> Gregor Clegane is in the river. In fact, he's right by the main river of the river. Uh, okay. And if he could take Lady Stoneheart's resurrection powers uh, and pass them on to somebody else, he could find in that river the never-discovered corpse of Rhaegar Targaryen. Oh my god, that's better! That's better! That's not where I was going, but it's better! Oh my god, that's stupid! Zach, you understand that that's stupid, right? He finds the decomposed corpse of Rhaegar Targaryen, and he tells Lady Stoneheart, here's your champion, and she sacrifices her life uh, to resurrect Rhaegar. And then Sandor does, like, a rocky training montage. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Zack the Rubies! Uh, resurrected corpse. The Rubies! Zack the Rubies! The Rubies in the, the, in the Trident! Yeah. They they will have some of Rhaegar Targaryen's life essence in them. If yeah. he he could find the rubies and and they could like crush the rubies and use them to like to like resurrect Sandor using Rhaegar Targaryen's still existent life force. <laughs> That's stupid and I hate it. That's so great, dude. Oh my god, I'm crying. Oh. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Oh my God. That's really good. We'll 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 call that additional tinfoil. Circle back with me. You want a card? Um, who who? Yeah. Yeah. Deal me a card. Okay. All right. I there's like three things left on this list, but I'm rolling anyway. Uh, you got a five, which means I roll all the way back up to one. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Garland Tyrell pretends to be Renly Baratheon at the Battle of the Blackwater. Yeah. And this, I think since it's farther away, it's more of a, like, there's precedent for this sort of thing where, you know, you wear somebody else's armor and, uh, that's like, you know, like, a, a, people can't even tell. Like, everybody thought Garland Tyrell was actually the ghost of Ranley for a hot second there. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to throw my last one out here. You want it? Go for it. In the Bad Dragon show, Stannis Baratheon dies at the Battle of Winterfell. Zach, what if it's literal? Hold on. What do you, what do you mean, what if it's literal? Like, what if, you ready for this? Mm-hmm. What if this over here, what if Stannis Baratheon in his dying moments resurrects the Hound and the Hound absorbs the bitter, resentful hatred that Stannis Baratheon has for his brother? And then... It's two brothers, it's two brothers fighting each other. It's, it's two brothers fighting two brothers! Them. It's a uh, Baratheon bowl. It's the bro bowl. It's the bro bowl. And the, I <laughs> the uh, the Cleganes imbued with the powers of Baratheons. Yeah. Uh, fight each other. 
and I and will... also this parallels the uh, first chapter. Well, not the first, the second chapter. It's not the a prologue uh, of a Game of Thrones where they find a direwolf that has uh, been killed by uh, the antlers of a stag. Oh my god! Uh, what we didn't know was that it came back to life afterwards. Uh, 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 that's, that seems like Blood Raven. I don't have room on this page for Blood Raven right now. <laughs> so, so, so Zach. Like Super Bobby B versus, uh, like. Uh, uh, I, I think I'm going with, with. Zora Hound. Fucking, oh my God. <laughs> Zor. <laughs> Zor. A hound. So, let me paint this picture for you just one more time, okay? You ready? Gregor Clegane, uh, Robert Baratheon's head on Gregor Clegane's body, championing for Cersei in a, in a trial by combat in a Kingsguard outfit. Versus... Uh, Stan... Sorry, the, uh, a bird just, like, slammed full force in my window and then fell on the ground. Oh, my God! <laughs> It's either that or a squirrel, like, fucking leaked. Uh, just some sort of animal just, like, full force rammed into my window. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. What a disaster this recording's been. Oh, my God. It's so funny. Okay. Oh, so, so pretty bird. Super Bobby B. Versus, uh... Uh, uh, Sandor Clegane resurrected using Stannis Baratheon's life force wearing Renly Baratheon's armor. Wearing Renly's armor? That's... That's some top tier tinfoil yeah. shit. This is, this is what I'm talking for. Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god. What are we are we calling this the Azora Hound theory? It's pretty good. I I like Azora Hound here. Yeah. Oh uh, my god. I think that's I think that's what it's got to be called. Oh my god. I did think about the Strong Bowl. The Bro Bowl is also pretty good. The Bro Bowl. Yeah. Uh Oh my god. So Zach, there it is. What do you what what uh, what uh, what do you think? <laughs> What a journey we went on. I, I really like when I was trying to find everybody in a tab out to like search characters. Uh, unbeknownst to me, you were underlining every single rapper. Uh, was, uh, was, uh, oh iconic God. behavior, as we say in my uh, field. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my God, I'm just over here giggling for like five minutes, just like underlining all the word Roberts. Zach, his name is Robert. His name is Robert. How much more clear could it be? His name is Robert. Good old Bobby Strong. Bobby Strong. Uh, <laughs> Zach, Zach, I'm having trouble breathing. I think that's the end of our recording. I agree. I think this is uh, where the recording ends. Yeah, I'm going to drop. I'm Goodbye, drop. everybody. I'm, Thank you for watching. There's an Amoga. I'm, I'm just uh, drawing a couple couple real quick Amogases. Amogai. Amogases. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and also do the... Do the, 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 the nerd poll. Fucking god damn it, do the nerd poll. Shit. Guess is, uh, we're, guess we're putting guess we're not uploading this one first. I guess not. Uh, okay, okay, goodbye. Goodbye.